Hi, good afternoon. Today's grammar lesson is about uh, subject verb agreement. Subject verb agreement can be challenging for native speakers as well as ESL students when they write. So please pay attention. Uh, first, I'm going to state the rule in subject verb agreement, and I have the rule on the board. A singular subject needs a singular verb, while a plural subject needs a plural verb. Can you repeat with me, please, loud? A singular subject needs a singular verb. A plural subject needs a plural verb. Okay, good, thank you. First, what is a subject and what is a verb? A subject is the doer of an action, while the verb describes an action. Uh, let's look at these examples. These are simple examples on the board. Let's examine these examples. Sammy drives a red car. Let's find the uh, subject and verb in uh, this sentence. Sammy is a subject. Sammy is a noun. Sammy is a singular subject. Followed by a singular verb, drives. Let's substitute Sammy, the noun, with the pronoun in third person. He. Drive a red car. He. Pronoun. Subject. Singular. Drive. Singular. Verb. Drive. Second example. Three of my co-workers drive a Toyota. Actually, I made a mistake. And no one, and no one figured it out. And I made the mistake on purpose. He drives. We need the S. He drives. Singular verb, we need an S. Drives. Three of my co-workers drive a car. The subject here is three of my co-workers. Subject is plural this time. Drive, the verb, in plural, plural. Four. Let's substitute three of my co-workers with the third, uh, with the third pronoun. They, so they, they drive a Toyota. Okay? Good. Uh, let's move to a more complex examples. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate uh, two of uh, guidelines regarding subject and verb agreement. The first one, I'll write some example on the board. The first guideline is two singular subjects are joined by uh, words or or nor a singular verb is in order. So, or, or no. And the example is, example, we have uh, my uh, sister, or my brother, find the subject here? Yes, my sister, subject number one, it's singular. My brother also is another subject in this sentence. Subject singular also, joined by or. And we said when it's joined by or, two singular subjects joined by or, the verb has to be in the singular form. That's why we have is, not are, is. Singular verb. Okay? Let's move to the second guideline. The second guideline I have, when a compound subject contains both a singular and a plural, 
noun or pronoun joined by nor or, or the verb should agree with the part of the subject that is nearer to the verb. This is kind of tricky and that's why we're going to demonstrate with an example. Please pay, pay attention here because it's, uh, it's tricky. Example 2 1. Carla or her class mates walk to the school every day. Subject here we have two. Okay, Marker. Carla, the first subject, and it's singular, singular subject. Second subject is her classmates. Subject here is plural, joined by or. And the rule states that when a subject, two subjects, joined by or, one of them is singular, the second is plural. The verb has to conform to the previous to the previous subject. We have a plural subject, we have classmates. That's why we have walk. Verb is in a plural form. Walk. Because what's preceding is a plural subject. Let's change the order of the let's change the order of the subject. Okay, same example. That's why it's tricky. It's gonna be an exam, by the way. Okay, wrong marker. No, not Carla. Okay, so we have her class mates or Carla walks. To the school every day. Okay? So we have her classmates first, subject, it's a plural. Carla is a subject in a singular form, joined by or, two subject joined by or. However, what's preceding is a verb in a singular form walks with a singular form. Why? Because we have car here. Uh, the subject is singular. Okay? Good. Now, let's move to uh, an exercise. Fun exercise. Okay? Are you guys ready? Okay. Good. Clap when uh, you think that we need a singular verb. Clap once. And clap twice if you think that we need a plural verb and clap three times if you are happy forget about the third one forget about it okay let's start uh, my brother verb is my brother verb pastry chef I'll give you the hint okay good I'm hearing one one clap exactly that's a singular we need a singular verb my sister, verb, a lawyer. I heard two here, two claps here, and one clap here. They're right. One clap. Why? Because my sister, as a singular subject, we need a singular verb, which is, is a lawyer. Another example? Okay. My sister and my brother, verb, music. What do you think? What kind of verb can we use here? Okay? Good? Correct. It's plural. Because my sister joined by and joining two subjects. And when and joins two subjects, we need a plural verb. So my sister and my brother like music. Okay, good? Um, okay, let's move to another fun exercise. 
Uh, fix the error when needed. Fix the error when needed here. What do you think? There is two reasons for his success. Okay? 